Hey guys, got a match here against the Poke Wiz. His link will be in the description. Really suggest you uh, go check him out. He's a really cool guy. So yeah, here we go to the match. It's a really old match, it's like Christmassy time, but it's uh it's quite good. And it's actually my first match on my new data. My whole thing got deleted, so. I'm using a new team, but I don't really like the team, but whatever. So, lead off with Latios. Latios is gay. I'm not using it anymore. It's just so annoying to face and to use. I, I led off with it because nothing on his team can take a break on me to I'm amazed this Gliscor survived. But it's just going to die now. So, it's the second one. So, Latios, yeah. Kind of boring. It just comes in and kills everything with Draco Media. No fun. So yeah, don't expect to be seeing him again in my videos. But that's what I do. I kill off the Gliscor. I didn't even think about Primate having U-turn and being Scarf because most Primates are Scarf, but I don't think his was. But I, I just didn't even think of it. Luckily, he didn't go for it. So he goes into Ditto. One of the great folks of this generation, although I'm pretty sure it's still not legal, so I can't use it yet, but whatever. And I know his set, obviously, it's my set. He can't touch Ferrothorn, so it's a safe switch for me. Ferrothorn's another gay poke, which I won't be using again. It's just everywhere. I really don't like this team that I'm using. I was just testing, guys. But yeah. So he goes out into this primate because I set up rocks. Predicting the obvious close combat, I'm going to switch into my Mew. Who's actually cool. This actually isn't gay. But, uh, goes for Fire Punch, which I thought, at first I thought, thank god I switched, but close combat would have actually done more damage to me. I think. Because of high base power and stab. I get burned, which is a pain in the ass, because I'm a, a wall Mew, I'm fully defensive. But, Synchronized gets him burned as well, but it doesn't really matter because this thing was no threat to me whatsoever. So he goes out to Ditto now, switches into me as I think I just set up a screen. I'm not sure, I don't know which one. Probably light screen. I do set up light screen. So he's gone into my Mew, and my Mew has absolutely no attacking moves. It's, uh, what is it? Stealth Rock Light Screen Reflect. And I don't remember what my last move is. Ah, interesting. Transform, of course, it transform. So, uh, I know it can't actually hurt me at all. I was predicting rocks. But I went into Honchkrow as he sets up a reflect. And three, he's either two or three guys on his team resist dark. So, it was far too obvious to go for a super effective night slash. So I went for Brave Bird, to the Rapes Primate. Even with the reflector, because Hunch Girl is awesome. And Primate's dead. I never found out what set that Primate had. I don't think it was Scarfed. I don't think it was Banded, because it's sod all to my new. So I don't, really don't know. So he goes into my, well, his Hunch Girl, the theory thing now. And I'm going to have to let something die. Just because Hunch Girl is that awesome. I really don't know what I wants to do. I didn't want to switch into Ferrothorn, just on the off chance he predicted that I went for a super power. But I should have gone for a second punch really, just to get damage, but it doesn't really matter. I wanted to use Swampert thinking that would scare him away, but it doesn't. And he does a hell of a lot of damage to me. This is actually banded Swampert, it's not it is still very bulky because it's a Swampert, but it's not that defensively invested. And I went for an avalanche, predicting the switch. And I completely forgot he had to push it. If I remembered this, I'd have gone for a hammer arm instead. I didn't want to go for a hammer arm, hammer arm, because he has a galvantula, which would resist it, but I should have gone for hammer arm. He goes into his uh, cloister. I got into Ferrothorn, expecting a shell smash, I think it's called in English. 
what he, he does is he goes for an Icicle Spear and he does a hell of a lot of damage. Saying, uh, he doesn't have any stat boots, which makes me think he's heavily invested in attack. And I go for a Gyrobot here because I thought he would Shell Smash again and I wanted that damage with the speed boost. But he actually goes into his Hydrogen, which is awesome because Hydrogen would have been a big, big threat on this team. It's not really, like I said, it's just six random guys I was kind of using. So, Tazandora just rapes this team with its stuff. Goes for, he locks himself into Flamethrower, which is kind of obvious. I go for Earthquake, predicting a switch again, which isn't going to work out for me. And Swamp Pick dies. I don't know why I was predicting that, actually. Oyster, maybe? I don't know. If I go into Mew now, knowing he's locked into Flamethrower, and I think I go for a, I go for a Light Screen on this turn, and next turn I'm going to transform, knowing he stays in, he'll be locked in on Flamethrower, it won't be very effective, and I'll get to choose Draco Meteor and definitely kill something on his team, which is really nice. But he switches, goes into his Galvantula, and that's okay for me. I highly, highly doubt his Galvantula's scarf, meaning it's going to be a speed tie, which is fine by me because I've got four or five guys left, and this thing is no threat to me. I have Latios. He doesn't want to risk losing the speed tie, so he goes out with the Cloister. I just went for Hidden Power, not really knowing what it was, kind of assuming fire. And I see it's neutral on Cloyster, which made me think it was fire, but turns out it's ice. So obviously Transform doesn't copy the hidden power hidden power, which I didn't know. It obviously still goes off my IV, so it's probably dark or something like that. But I managed to take out his Avantula. His Sazandora is a Hydrogen, it's just gonna come in and kill him with flamethrower. But he's kind of trapped now because after I die, I'm just going to bring in my Jondo or Main Shao, what's it called? And if he, switch, if he doesn't switch, he dies to fake out. If he does, he's going to die to rock sooner or later. So, he's just going to stay in. I'm going to he's bring, bring out his last Scarvantula. I'm going to leave in Main Shao as Death Fodder. And then bring in Ladios for KO, but turns out he's modest, not timid. So, I actually outspeed and just finish my Stone Age. So, good game, Lepoki Wiz. Like I said, link in the description. Do check him out. I've uh, I've been having quite a few battles recently because I'm home. So feel free to challenge me, and I'll have more videos up on the way. So comment, like, subscribe, all that usual jazz, and I'll see you all next time.